Hey guys, it's Sasha, and I'm doing like a makeup routine. Um, so I know I'm doing like every like video, but my makeup literally changes every two weeks. Like it's just how it happens. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do my makeup now, and let's just get into the video. I also have these contacts in. They're different from last time. I think I've been usually wearing like green and stuff like that, but I changed it up because. I've been wanting, because I had black contacts, but I threw them away because they were literally burning my eyes. Like, you do not understand. They're the most uncomfortable thing ever. So, yeah. But first, I'm going in with the Daily Facial Moisturizer by Neutrogena. And it's, like, really important to rub it all the way in and not use way too much because if you, the more um, moisturizer you use, like, your makeup's going to slip off. So, make sure not to do that. Do not do that. Okay, next step. So I'm using this concealer by Pure and I'm just going to put it on, on my imperfections. I'm going to let it dry because when you let it dry, like, it just stays on. I don't know how to explain it. But, um, I'm trying to find like better lighting and I just lit up my Hello Kitty ring. So it's actually like, pretty cute. Okay, anyways, next step is eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I literally just use eyeshadow. I know it's like weird, but I all, all I use is eyeshadow. So I use this black one in here. So first I'm gonna brush up my brows. And then I take this side, I got it from Ulta. I think it's by Real Techniques, I could be wrong, but yeah, so I just do that and I outline it and I'll show you like what the outline looks like. Okay, so I just outline them like that and woo! My bad, you guys. But I outline them like that, and then I fill them in at the bottoms, and then I go like that at the front, and I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm just, like, filling in the bottom, and I honestly just keep getting, like, just eyeshadow. I used to use eyeliner, but I don't know why I don't. It's honestly not that bad. It kind of looks, like, really, like, you know what I mean? Okay, so it should look like that, and then I'm just gonna, like, sh I don't know how to, like, it's, like, blend the front, I guess? So, I guess I'll do that. Dude, that one looks so good. Oh, my God. Hopefully, the other one looks that good. Okay, so it looks like that. So, now, I'm going to get my concealer. And I use the Too Faced Born This Way in shade Swan. And I'm just going to carve them out. So, I just add a little bit right here, right here, right here, right here. And then, just get the carving. And I am using this Hello Kitty brush I just got. And honestly, they're such good quality. Like, they're good quality. And I just use it to carve it out okay so it should look like that now i'm gonna do the middle part and this part's kind of the tricky part where you could mess up and i usually do mess it up so i basically like something like this just something like a small beauty blender and i just go and just go in the middle just like this and bam now we gotta carve the top again oh my god those okay i actually did pretty good on my eyebrows this is the first time i've done good on my eyebrows i'm like oh my god this is annoying me sorry but the first time i've done like get on my eyebrows in a while so i'm pretty proud of it but next thing we're gonna do is foundation wait no primer primer so i used the smashbox one and i got it in a mini one because i was like oh let me try it out and this well and this became like my favorite primer in the world so it basically like cleans up your pores not clean like it just like smooths them i guess and um i like it and i also found out that there are like primers that you can use while you're like working out and stuff so it doesn't like get into your sweat like your sweat doesn't get into like your pores and stuff it's actually really crazy but anyways after that i'm going in with i literally just got this and i'm trying out these products right now so like guys this is like kind of like a real like up updated makeup tutorial like it's like in the process right now but um i got it in shade apple pot and i want to try huda because um i don't know like who's just a good brand and i I don't know, I'm kind of like stepping away from Too Faced a little bit. So I just got two pumps of that. And now I'm going to take my beauty blender and we're just going to blend. This is like my, like the shade that I would want because my other foundation was like way too light. And I like a darker foundation so that I can put lighter concealer on and then like it all just comes together. And then usually I just look like, I don't know, like just the colors don't add up. So that I love this so far. Okay, so two pumps kind of just cover that much. So now I'm going to get like one more big pump, full pump. And I'm just going to use that for like the sides and then right here. I had blended that for like a good like three minutes. And honestly, the shade is like giving. It's really giving. So now I'm going to go on to the next thing. So back with the concealer. Shade Swan with Too Faced. And I'm just going to go like this. So I'm putting them in these 
point. No, I'm gonna blend that out. Okay, so that's that blended, and I think that these products like mesh well together, and I like it so far. But now we're gonna go in with some extended. So I usually would use this, but I honestly don't like the hula. I mean, it's okay, but like. I don't know. I'm trying to like find something else because I want like the blending is just not there. So I got the fancy one in shade Island Ting and we're going to try this. And that is literally beautiful. I don't even want to touch it. Back in with my Hello Kitty brush. As you can see, I've literally just used it for like the past two days because I just got them. We're just going to go in with this and I'm going to like show you guys a point. So I contour on that like that on my cheeks and then go under and then on my forehead and the nose contour i'm gonna like give like a tutorial on that yeah that is that's the one but now i'm gonna give a nose contour tut nose contour tut tutorial because everybody asks for one and i i don't know like i do it every different every day so yeah but i just go like under my nose like this and then I go all the way up. And I don't like making my nose skinnier because I just don't like skinny nose, like that look on me because my cheeks are already kind of full. And then it just looks like I have this small nose and it just doesn't look great on me. So I kind of learned what I like on myself. And I also like add a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, because like I don't want to just look like unblended. Okay, so that's a nose contour. Now, I just got this. I've had this. This is honestly my favorite baking powder I've ever had in my entire life. But I got the mini version because I haven't tried this color. Usually, I do, like, the white one. But I feel like I need to, like, step away from that because that's just not my color. So, basically, it's really cute. You just open it and oh, it's so cute. Okay, I just take off the plastic. I was like, wait, does it, like, not work or something? Because you can't, like, screw off the top. I'm just going to put it on the pot. Ooh. Yeah, I probably just wasted product, but you know, um, yeah, so I do this. Uh, this is from Sheen, by the way, this powder puff. Also, all these products you can get from Sephora, Ulta, uh, yeah. Okay, that blended so nicely, but I'm gonna go over with some, um, of the Fenty Beauty, uh, bronzer again, just so, like, because sometimes when you put, like, baking on, it, like, kind of, like, now I'm just gonna like remove excess of the baking. I don't like keep my baking on long because like honestly I don't like really see like the really big point in it. So also don't forget to set your eyes. I just totally forgot that, but you don't want faces in your eyes. That's not cute. So now I go in with the um I use a different eyeliner probably every day, but right now I'm doing the wet and mob one. But my favorite one is probably the Ulta one. I feel like all my eyeliner is the same to be honest. Like. I feel like the tips are just probably different, but, um, but yeah. My eyeliner comes out different every day, so don't judge. Okay, so there's an eyeliner. It's pretty thin. I don't like thick eyeliner on me personally. It's just, like, doesn't fit my eyes. But now I go with the Stila, um, mascara, and I just go like that. And I put on mascara before I put on my lashes because it just helps it hold better and, like, makes it look, like, more put together okay so there's my my mascara and i love doing bottom lashes now I, I almost cut off my bottom lashes that's how much like i didn't like doing them but now i think it's like so cute and you look so girly so now i'm gonna do that so i do that and it looks weird right now but hold on so then i go with the super old lash in black and i like using the black so like i don't get like the white residue on my lashes because i think that looks so disgusting okay so while i'm like, waiting watching waiting for my lash glue to dry um i do my lips and my blush and my highlighter so first i'm gonna do my lips bro i lose my lip liners all the time so hopefully i don't lose this one i have to over it because it's a new one so give me a second guys Anyways, I low-key do overline my lips. I'm not gonna lie, but who cares? Okay, by the way, this is um, Sephora's brand. And I didn't get it dark enough because I, like, wasn't in person to see it. So this is literally, like, my lip color. I'm gonna just go and look a darker lip liner because that's, that's literally from Sheen. Because that one did not do what it needed to do. Um, yeah, so now I'm gonna go in, like, some brown eyeshadow. Just any brown eyeshadow. I'm just gonna, like tap it in there because so now i take my ofra one and 
I hold on. So I just put that on the high points of my cheek. I do not put like I don't go down. Also, I hate a lot of blush. Like I don't know. Like it looks good on the people, but I just don't prefer it on myself. Next, I use the Revolution highlighter, and bro, this is so underestimated. Like I gatekeep this highlighter since like freshman year, but it's probably the best highlighter ever, and it's from drugstore, and it's the most pigmented thing I've ever put on my face. So I just get a really small brush like this one, bro. And their white highlighter is so pigmented. Like, like you know those girls like put like a lot. Like that's the type of highlight. Like it's that pigmented. Honestly, my favorite highlighter is the Ofra highlighter though, but it might just be this one again. So I've not used this highlighter in so long. But now I'm going to go. Ooh, I don't look like that. I'm gonna go in with these lashes. They're from Shein, but you also can get them on Amazon. I don't know what they're called. I really don't. I wish I knew because I want another pair, but this is my last pair of them. But they look like this. I'm sure you can like probably like, find something similar. Okay, anyway, so yeah, just put those bad boys on. Yeah, that's really the final look. I feel like it's like I feel like there's like something in the middle that's like not blended, like bothering me so bad. I think it's just my acne. Okay, but this is the final look. I think it looks so cute and like it just looks so like girly. I don't know how to explain it, but. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, DM me or comment. I'm, I respond to literally all the comments on here, so just do whatever. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching so much, and um, I I promise, like 100% promise, I have I'm going to be more active. My dad is really gonna force me. Like, just trust, guys. But thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and all my socials will be down below. And again, if you have any questions, DM me or comment. So, bye guys. Love you so much. I'm going to be more active, I promise. Bye, guys.